can best ski by Raymond Entrebus and illustrated by Polly Dunbar. That bear has a hard time waking me up in the morning. One, the radiator shakes. Two, the bed rumbles like a large empty tummy. Three, the windows by the bed tremble. Four, that bear takes one heavy step forward. The ceiling cracks. Five. My eyes snap awake. I explode out of bed. My feet hit the ground. I'm up, I'm up. I put on sky blue socks and my orange pants and yellow sweater. I like my colors loud. It's been snowing. Everything feels still. No rumbling. No trembling. It's like everything is breathing quietly. Then I feel Dad's voice. One, banisters shake. Two, pictures wobble. Three, stairs flinch. I'm coming, I'm coming, I say. I gobble gobble breakfast. That bear has the TV on. I can see a man in a blue snowsuit skiing fast down a slope. That bear is saying something to me. I think he says, Can bears ski? I shrug. I'm not sure I heard him right. I eat the last of my porridge. Time for school. That bear talks a lot. On our way to school, I hear the crunch 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 of the snow. That bear stops and looks directly at me. Your friend was saying hello. Why did you ignore him? I didn't. I didn't. Then that bear asks again, can bears ski? Is that really what he's asking me? Teacher bear approaches that bear. I can only hear little pieces of what they are saying. Have to sit front of class. That bear stamps on the ground. I feel the ground shake, so I look up. He is saying something to me, but I can't quite work it out. I wonder if it's can bears ski? David Bear sits next to me at lunch. He is talking a lot. Suddenly, laughter bursts out everywhere. I don't know what everyone is laughing at. He asks me a question. Can Bess ski? I don't know. One day, that bear picks me up early. We are going to meet someone with a name I can't say. She writes her name like this. A-U-D-I-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. It's a really hard word to say. She puts headphone on my head. She wants me to put a block on the table every time I hear a sound. Then she shows us something called an audiogram. It's also a hard word to say. On the audiogram, my results are the shape of a ski slope. I imagine myself skiing down it. The audiologist asks, Can bears ski? After a week and a few more tests, I start hearing therapy and lip reading classes too. The audiologist gives me plastic ears called hearing aids. They feel uncomfortable at first. Everything sounds like robots. 
the audiologist asked, Can you hear me? <gasps> wow, is life this loud? Sometimes I get tired and sound stops making sense, no matter how loud it is. Sometimes I take my hearing aids out and lose them. Guess I'm not used to them yet. Can best ski? I still don't know. How to answer that question? That bear reads a story aloud. He looks directly at me. I can see his whole face and he speaks clearly. I can feel his big voice and see the words on the page. So I follow that bear's finger. There is a big picture of the moon. I know what the moon is saying because I can see its whole face and the moon is speaking clearly. Can you hear me? says the moon. I say, Bess can ski.